Palmer. Palmer. Second place is look, looks like what it's going to be, yep. uh, mathematically speaking. But you guys came into the tournament. How did you feel coming into the tournament? Um, obviously, you want to make it a gold trophy. Right. You and Perrysburg both. Yeah. Uh, doesn't go your way, but you're going to end up with a runner-up finish. What's it mean to you guys, and how did you feel coming into this tournament? I mean, the guys are doing really well. Um, obviously, we don't have the depth to compete 100% um, for a title yet. Um, all in all, we were 14-0 going into the semis. A um, couple guys you know, came up short, but all in all, we got three in the finals, uh, three-thirds. Or I'm sorry, three fifth placers and you know another going for third. So all in all, great tournament from these guys. You and I talked uh, right before it was like a duel. You guys are up at St. Ads, and yep. uh, we didn't know where you were going to declare as far as your sectional than your district, right? right? Do you feel like you guys made the right choice there? Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, we went there. The district, all in all, was tougher um, than the Wilmington district for the guys that we had. But um, they wrestled a hell of a district, ended up coming out. We had six first and one third. So it set them up pretty good for this weekend. Um, the brackets were perfect. I mean, everything was set for these guys to get the job done. Um, all in all, good weekend. We got some work to do. Tonight in the finals, how many finalists for you guys and what's your expectations tonight? Who are, who are your finalists? I know got, Max. Yeah, we got Max Shulaw, Lincoln Shulaw, and David McClellan. Um, I don't know. We're going to have our hands full tonight. I think uh, I think a couple of them are locked and loaded and ready to get a W. Um, Lincoln, he's got Newsome. He's wrestled multiple times. Just all about putting the pressure on him early and not giving up positioning. So we'll see how that one goes. Who does Max have? Max has uh, Indian Creek, Indian Valley. Indian Creek, I think Indian it was. Creek. Yeah. He wrestled him at Ironman. Yeah. Um, Kid took us down first. We got a reversal, I believe, and then pinned him in the second. So, no slouch. We're going to have to be on our game and be ready to rock. And who's David got? David has a grandkid. So, yeah, uh, that's why it's so, big. You got it's it. a good head to head. Um, all in all, we just need to get this last match done for McClellan. I know it's carrying a lot of pressure that's unnecessary, but I get it. I've been here, I felt it. So, just got to set it to the wayside and get the job done. You're bringing a bunch of these guys back, right? So this is, it's not like this is a, a two and done, right? Yeah. Like, this is just the beginning, right? Yeah. I mean, out of the seven semifinalists that we had, we got um, everybody returning besides two. So, I mean, we just need to reload about two or three this offseason, and we'll be right back at it. You know, developing guys, that's a big part of what you do. Yep. It's, you're a full-time wrestling coach. This is what you yep. do for a living. How do you develop guys? What's your best way? to develop guys like maybe coach how coach jordan coach burnett coach haverdo how those guys are gonna coach wenger i can we can keep going right yeah. how are those guys developing guys and how do you develop guys when you say you need two more you say you need four more how do you do it the biggest thing for us is we're just light on numbers in general so i mean once we get the bodies in the room it's easy to you know kind of develop them from there um obviously this year us going the path we did um Marshall Frolic had a really, really tough avenue to get out at 190. So that kind of goofed us up a little bit there. But all in all, I mean, just getting the bodies in the room is what's going to be crucial for us. Um, you know, like I said, four years ago, we were down to four or five wrestlers on the entire team. So getting good wrestlers in the program and then building them, it's just, you know, camaraderie. That's definitely a huge thing that we got going on our side. And obviously these kids training out of club. You know, all year long makes a world of difference for them. So. All right. Going to take the runner-up trophy two years in a row. Congratulations. You got anything else? You played fifth last year. Oh, sorry. Fifth last year. Yeah. You had a couple champs. You had champ. You had McClellan had, a champ. Two finalists. We yeah. had McClellan. So, and you're building, though. Yeah. You're building. Yeah. That's what it's all about. That's it. You know, There's five, so two, much, one, right? Yeah. There's only so much you can do, man. All right. You got anything else for me? That's about it, man. Hopefully, we got three champs tonight. And lock and load. Good luck moving forward, and congrats on the runner-up finish. Thank you. Appreciate it.